it's Halloween time, and today we're gonna make a ghost. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> maybe that's not a great idea, but this is. <laughs> we're gonna make our own ghost today. And yeah, I know you can get yourself a lollipop and put that thing on there, but lollipops fall over. This one stands on its own. The beauty about this project is you can use scrap wood and it doesn't matter what the wood looks like once you're done turning because it's gonna be hidden. So let's take a look underneath. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to expose you there. Anyway, this is the best I can do. I don't wanna rip this apart. But it's one piece of wood. There's a little ball on the end that we turn. It comes down to here and then we just cut off a base. Then we just put the piece of cloth on top, wrap a little thread around it, draw a couple eyes on it and we're good. I have mounted in my chuck jaws a seven inch long piece of poplar that's about oh two inches wide. It's just a scrap I had. And I'm taking my roughing gouge and I'm just getting rid of some of this excess wood right here, right? So I'm bringing that down to about an inch. I'm gonna switch tools real quick, if I can find it. <laughs> there it is. And get my spindle gouge and I'm just gonna start making a bead. And remember, we always do what? Sneak up on a bead. You're right, that's what we do. We sneak up on the bead. This is poplar, so it's really soft. Well, we don't want to make that a pointy top. That'd be really bad. Um, there we go. So we're going to just make a rough bead here. And like I said, this doesn't have to look pretty. That's what's so cool about it. We're just using up scrap wood at this point. Now I'm going to switch to one of my fun tools, which is right here, an easy wood tool. And we're just going to take and push in. Now, since I'm touching both edges at this point, I'm going to take it slow. There we go, there's our stem. Now we can just start moving the wood back. Yeah, the neat thing about this project, you can make the ghosts any height or any size you want. You can even, you can even grab a log off the firewood pile and make a big one. What I like is you can even make tiny ones and then you have a whole army of ghosts. I'm going to make a clearing cut here so the tool doesn't bind. And on the last cut, I'm going to angle in a little bit like that so the outer edges of this touch. That way it'll sit nice and flat. There we go. There we go. Parted it off. Good. There it sits. Now we got to dress our ghost. This is lint-free cloth that I use for finishing. Now you take your little guy. Put them right in the center here. Just make sure the cloth is long enough to hang down, right? And then I've got, it's really hard to see, a loop lasso made out of some thread here, white thread. And see how that goes on there? Then we just do that, we're gonna tie a knot in it. And once we do that, we're gonna take our Sharpie and just make some googly eyes on here to make them really scary. Now, if your ghost is too long, just take some scissors and trim it up. <laughs> I actually like this look. And there we go. We got our ghosts ready for Halloween. Oh.